Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna be in a game. Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm here to say hello, and welcome to my tutorials on how to make a car in the Unreal Engine 5. So you've imported your model into Unreal Engine 5, and all your materials are broken. Oh no! Basically what you need to do, you need to unwrap your model in Blender and save your map separately. In our case, a car is mostly desired in its shiniest or metallic optimum. I don't want a dirty car basically. So what we need to do is quite simple. Hello everybody, welcome back to another guide from Worldjaw 3D. Uh, as we've discussed, we've imported our model and all our materials have broken on it, haven't they? So, windows aren't see-through, nothing's metallic, it's it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? So, what we need to do is we need to look at our materials. And if we... Should we go for the main colour first? If we look at the car paint, the car paint should be like metallic and have all nice things on it. But what happens in Unreal is... It breaks it all basically, and this is, it looks like the principal B, B, D, S, F thing, but it just works a little bit different. It's exactly the same though. But what we need to do is we need our clear coat pack, don't we? So the first thing you need to discover is this material drop down here. And you've got like material domains, which you can set different settings to. And you've got the blend modes, which you can set to masked, translucent, which is see-through, additive, which is like ma masking, I think, modulate. And then you've got this here, which is your shading model. This is very useful to know here. What you have here is you have clear coat, and this is obviously in the BDCF thing in Blender, but it's actually here for this. So to make it shiny, we gotta click it there. Yeah, that's rule one of cars. We can make it shiny. It's been lacquered now, yeah? Now, if we wanted to make it metallic as well, we've obviously got no like metallic here. Now, if you've got any maps in, in Blender, you can drag them in here now and plug them in this way. Or if you just want to know how to use this thing here, what you do is, is you pull it out and you go for a constant, this one, and this basically creates your on and off switch for the metallic value. Yeah, so if, obviously in between the range of zero and one, so if you just put one in, it's now metallic. Which is awesome. So you could do it for other things, say like your roughness, like constant. There's probably a shortcut that I've not learned yet, but you know what we mean? Set zero, it's zero. If not, you can. If you press Alt and click on it, it'll disconnect it as well, kind of thing. Because obviously you can make things shiny with the roughness, can't you? So if you just want it shiny, you can have it like that. But if you have metallic shiny, I think it's. If you want something just shiny, you're going to turn the roughness all the way down to zero and that will make like a mirror like finish because it's completely shiny yeah but if you want something metallic it does the same thing but it also includes the color of the metal with it like blends it into it so it like, like it blends a bit of color you know so like as well as reflecting the color that's re it's reflecting it's also going to combine the base color with it and that's what your metallic is it's kind of like roughness but it blends a bit of color yeah so they're, they're like your main things with cars aren't they if you want like brushed aluminium you can knock that up and then obviously turn your clear coat off now the next thing what what we need to do now is once you've done that if you click save and then exit we've got now a metallic surface that's clear coated it's kind of what we wanted isn't it now if we find the glass the car glass the issue we've got with this is it doesn't carry over tra translucency. Is that what it's called in Blender? I forget the name. I remember in this picture. What we need to do here is click on the principled thing. I don't know what you call it. And then we go over to here and put translucent. It will create a see-through object. But what obviously we need to do is create a value for the opacity. So if we do the constant again and we put 0.5, we now have 50% see-through object. And that's how you do glass basically and imagine if we click on this and we clear clear coat as well because like a window is going to be shiny isn't it and that should correct our see-through glass now i'm probably going to go for 0.2 let's go for some 0.8 the other way around because i want kind of tinted now if we save it and exit back out again we can see it's see-through probably not see-through enough so if we quickly change it at 0.5 again we'll just keep it halfway for illustrative purposes now obviously i've shared the glass for the front and the back now you can see it's starting to come together now and it? it looks a lot more real so if i quickly just rush through it's like with the chrome i'll show you chrome because that's important for cars isn't it where's chrome chrome this one you can definitely see it's broken now this one's nice and simple is basically we want the metallic at full don't we so if we create constant again 
again, turn it on, bang, you've got yourself a chromey surface kind of thing now. Probably want it a bit shinier than that, so if we create a constant, on drop down, and just leave that at zero, we've got a chrome, haven't we? Because if you remember, the, it's the roughness that makes it shiny and reflective, and then this just gives it that light. It blends the base colour into the reflection. Correct me if I'm wrong. Deedly, deedly, deedly. So we can save this now, close it again, and we can see like the headlights corrected itself now. Uh, the wheels, same again. If somebody knows the shortcut for this, tell me. <laughs> we want metallic on it and we want it to be clear coat, don't we? So we click on that, go down here, I want that one, and we go for clear coat. We've got ourselves a lovely, lovely gold surface now. So we have super gold. <laughs> Could probably turn it up a little bit. There you go. But zero point. Yeah, just a little bit. Everything has a l certain element of roughness to it. Nothing's like perfect, other than water, I think. It'll have to be very still water. Save. Close. There you go, you got some nice gold wheels now, aren't you, kind of thing. Now, obviously, it looks a bit pants in this view. I think this is to do with, like, the basic HDR. We've got some reflections in on the bonnet, like the sky's reflecting, so we've definitely got ray tracing going on. It's obviously, there's nothing around it to reflect into, like, the body, so it does look a bit unrealistic at the minute. It's just because the environment is it's in his pants, you know what I mean? So, that should solve all your issues. You want glass, you want chrome, you want metallic paint, and after that, it would be your image textures. It's like, usually you'd have like an image texture here that you plug in. But I'll not discuss that in this one. This one is just to cover the basic things that you need to create. See through things, shiny things, metallic things, and basic colours. Hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching. If you are, if you want to build a car in Unreal Engine 5, then check out this playlist here, and it should help you build a game. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone. Boo-boo.